Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm excited to share with you guys my journey of passing AWS Advanced Networking Exam in just seven days. Yes, you heard that right, seven days. So let's dive in and see how I did it. Oh, and one more note, I will be dropping links in the description for all the resources that are free to download or click on I've used to study for this exam, so check it out. So before we begin, let me tell you a little bit about my background. My name is Ali and I'm a CCI certified network expert working at Deloitte Consulting. I have over 20 years of experience in the field in unified communications and networking. I've been working in the cloud industry for a few years now and I've already passed the AWS certified cloud practitioner exam. However, I wanted to take my skills to the next level by passing the advanced networking exam. And as you know, the AWS certified cloud practitioner is a prerequisite that you should be passing before you try to attempt the advanced networking exam. Just to keep this in mind, this exam is not easy folks. It requires a deep understanding of AWS networking concepts, including VPCs, subnets, route tables, and more. But I was determined to pass it and I'm excited to share my study plan with you. So a little bit about the exam before we talk about the study plan. So you will have about 170 minutes to complete the exam of 65 questions. If you are not native English speaker, you can request an additional 30 minutes. The 65 questions consist of either single or multi-answer questions. Some answers are correct but there might be more correct answers. So make sure you read the question and answers multiple times to make sure you choose the right answer. The cost of taking the exam is 300 US dollars. If you have passed an AWS exam before this one, you might have a voucher in your account. This could save you up to 50% of the exam cost. So make sure you check on that. If you have the voucher, definitely apply. It could save you some money. I took the exam at home, online delivered via Pearson View. This wasn't my first time taking the exam from home but it was my first time experiencing some problems before being able to start the exam. Everything looked good from my end, but the person monitoring the exam, the proctor, could not see me through my camera. So they suggested a reboot of my computer, which resolved the problem. So they suggested canceling and re or rescheduling the exam. So a good reminder is always to reboot your computer just before taking the exam to avoid being in a similar position. Now, let's jump into the study plan and resources. So here's what I did. I created a study plan that focused on the most critical topics covered in the exam. I used a combination of resources including AWS Advanced Networking Study Guide, online courses, and practice exams. For my exam prep, I recommend using the AWS Skill Builder Digital Course for fast study of the core networking concepts. And then the Tutorials Dojo Mock Exams for Validation. Read all the explanations and retake the mock exams until you feel confident about the topics. Also focus on some Kubernetes pod networking, EKS, transit gateways, direct connect gateways, AWS networking firewalls, and guard duty. Now let me tell you about what really, really helped me pass the exam. First, make sure you understand the basics of AWS networking, including VPCs, subnet, route tables, etc. What I ended up choosing as my main source of information for my studies was the course from Udemy, AWS Certified Advanced Networking Specialty 2024, an excellent course with a great instructor that covered all the topics. The practice exam from Udemy is also really good. Unfortunate, it's only two tests, one with 15 questions and the other one with 65 questions. But for me, a perfect way of testing my knowledge and getting feedback on what to improve on. Reviewing the questions explains why the correct option is correct and why the incorrect option is incorrect. I also made sure to practice what I learned by creating my own test questions and scenarios. This helped me to reinforce my understanding of the material and identify areas where I needed more practice. Also make sure to read the official exam guide so you know the list of services to focus on. The list of task statements is a gold mine of information. Also read the list of common exam scenarios on tutorial dojo, cheat sheets for final review. For those who are about to take this exam, I recommend studying very seriously for this test. You must really study and know the features of AWS networking services. Secondly, practice, practice, practice. The more you practice, the more comfortable you will become with the material. Finally, make sure you manage your time effectively during the exam. So make sure you allocate your time wisely. Having said all that, keep in mind planning and prepping is the most important step. Lining up the resources and dedicating time to study follows right after that. Once all that was geared up, I was ready to start tackling the content. I scheduled the exam seven days out to give me a tight 
deadline to ensure I could keep myself accountable and honest. I truly believe my practical experience also helped me in passing this exam on my first attempt. Finally, here are some final tips to help you on your journey. First, stay focused and motivated. Second, don't be afraid to ask for help. And third, keep practicing until you feel confident and ready for the exam. And that's it, folks. That's how I passed my AWS Advanced Networking exam in just seven days. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Remember, passing this exam requires dedication, hard work, and practice. But with the right resources and mindset, you can do it too. So thank you for watching, everyone. Let me know about your journey in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more cloud related content. And if you're prepping for the AWS Advanced Networking exam, I wish you the best of luck. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.